Ajunta and El Aura Caves. About 107 kilometers from the city of Aurangabad in Maharashtra, are the rock out caves of Ajunta nestled in a panoramic gorge, in the form of a gigantic horseshoe. A set of 29 caves, Ajunta is among the finest examples of some of the earliest Buddhist architecture, cave paintings and sculptures. The cave temples and monasteries at El Aro, excavated out of the vertical face of an escarpment, are 26 kilometers north of Aurangabad. Declared as World Heritage Sites by UNESCO since 1983, the paintings and sculptures of Ajunta and El Aro, considered masterpieces of Buddhist religious art, have had a great influence in the development of art in India. Beginning with the 2nd century BC, and continuing into the 6th century AD, the paintings and sculptures in the caves of Ajunta and El Aro, inspired by Buddhism and its compassionate ethos, unleashed a surge of artistic excellence unmatched in human history. These Buddhist and Jain caves are ornately carved, yet seem quiet and meditative and exude the divine energy and power. Agrafort Near the gardens of Taj Mahal stands the important 16th century Mughal monument known as the Red Fort of Agra. The construction of the Agra Fort was started around 1565, when the initial structures were built by the Mughal Emperor Akbar, and subsequently taken over by his grandson Shah Jahan, who added most of the marble creations to the fort. Amr Fort At a short distance of 11 kilometers from Jaipur, the capital of Rajasthan state, the Amr Fort complex stands amidst wooded hills overlooking the Delhi-Jaipur highway with its forbidding ramparts reflected in the still waters of the Ma'oda Lake below. One of the finest examples of Rajput architecture, it was the ancient capital of the Kakhawa rulers. The original palace was built by Raja Man Singh and additions were made later by Sawai Jai Singh. Brihadisvara Temple, Thanjavur The Brihadisvara Temple, a splendid example of Kola architecture was built by Emperor Raja Raja. 985 to 1012 AD. The long series of epigraphs incised in elegant letters on the plinth all round the gigantic edifice reveals the personality of the emperor. The Brihadisvara temple is a monument dedicated to Shiva, and he named Lord as Raja Raj's Vermuda IR after himself. Charminer. The city of Hyderabad, with its delightful blend of the ancient and the modern, presents to the onlooker an interesting skyline with modern buildings standing shoulder to shoulder with fascinating 400-year-old edifices. It boasts of some fine examples of Qtab Shahi architecture, the Charminer is a massive arch built by Muhammad Qutab Shah, in 1591 to commemorate the end of the plague in the city. The symbol of the city, the Charminer, is an impressive square monument with four minarets. The arch is illuminated daily in the evening. An unforgettable sight indeed. City Palace, Udaipur. Udaipur, the city of lakes, is known as the Venice of the East. Maharana Udai Singh II founded Udaipur in 1568 after his citadel Chitorgarh was sacked by Mughal Emperor Akbar. Dora Temples, Mount Abu. Wondrously carved in marble, the Dora giant temples in Mount Abu, Rajasthan, enshrine various giant Tirthankaras. Constructed out of white marble from Arasori Hill, near Mbaji, 23 kilometers from Abu Road, the temples are an outstanding example of giant temple architecture. They are built with white marble stones. Each has a walled courtyard. In the center of the courtyard is the shrine with the image of the deity, Rishabdev. Around the large courtyard, there are numerous small shrines each housing a beautiful image of the Tirthankaras with a series of elegantly carved pillars from the entrance to the courtyard. The ministers of the Solanki rulers of Gujarat had constructed all these temples during 11th and 13th centuries AD. Buddhist Monuments at Sang Chai Sang Chai, also known as Kakanaya, Kakanava, Kakanabota and Bhotasrai Parvata in ancient times is situated in the state of Madhya Pradesh. It is a religious place with historical and archaeological significance. Sang Chai is famous in the world for stupas, monolithic Asokan pillar, temples, monasteries and sculptural wealth dating from 3rd century BC to 12th century AD. Khatrapati Shivaji Terminus The Khatrapati Shivaji Terminus, 
formerly known as Victoria Terminus in Mumbai, Maharashtra is a fine example of Victorian Gothic revival architecture in India, with a blend of themes derived from Indian traditional architecture. The terminus exhibits an important interchange of influences between the two. The building, designed by the British architect F. W. Stevens, became the symbol of Bombay, now Mumbai, as the Gothic city and the major international mercantile port city in the Indian subcontinent within the British Commonwealth. Kola Temples Situated in the southern state of Tamil Nadu, this World Heritage Site comprises the three great 11th and 12th century Kola temples, the Brihadisvara temples of Thanjavur, Gangai Kandikalisvram, and the Aritsvara temple at Darajuram. The three Kola temples in India are exemplary production in the Dravidian style of temple architecture. Elephanta Caves Elephanta anciently known as Garapuri, the island capital of Kangan Mauryas is celebrated for its colossal image of Mesamurti with three heads each representing a different form. The Elephanta Caves serve as a great tourist attraction in the vicinity of the large Mumbai metropolis. The Elephanta Island is located 10 kilometers away from the gateway of India at Mumbai in Maharashtra. Fate Persikri The royal city at Fate Persikri, situated 26 miles west of Agra, Uttar Pradesh, was built under the orders of the great Mughal Emperor Akbar. In honor of Saint Sheikh Salimjsti, Akbar founded a magnificent city on Sigri Ridge. In 1571, he ordered the construction of buildings for his own use and asked the noblemen to build houses for themselves. Gateway of India The Gateway of India is synonymous with Mumbai. It is the most famous monument of Mumbai and is the starting point for most tourists who want to explore the city. Gateway of India is a great historical monument built during the British rule in the country. It was built as a triumphal arch to commemorate the visit of King George V and Queen Mary to Mumbai, then, Bombay. Golconda Fort India is a country with a deep manifested past. Her rich cultural heritage has kept everyone in a maze. All the states in India have some or the other cultural history. If you ever chance to visit Hyderabad, the capital of Andhra Pradesh, you can't possibly miss out the 400-year-old majestic and imposing Golconda Fort situated on the western outskirts in the city. The fort was built by the Kukataya dynasty in the 13th century. Golden Temple Sri Harmandar Sahib, also known as Sri Darbar Sahib or Golden Temple, on account of its scenic beauty and golden coating, situated in Amritsar, Punjab, is the most sacred temple for Sikhs. This temple propagates Sikhism's message of tolerance and acceptance through its architecture that has incorporated symbols from other religions. Guru Arjan Sahib, the fifth Nanak, conceived the idea of creating a central place of worship for the Sikhs and he himself designed the architecture. Group of Monuments at Hampi Hampi, the 14th century capital of one of the greatest empires of medieval India called the Vijayanagar Empire, lies in the Deccan heartland in the state of Karnataka. The 14th century ruins of Hampi lie scattered in about 26 square kilometers areas, amidst giant boulders and vegetation. Protected by the tempestuous river Tungabhadra and the northern rocky granite ridges on the other three sides, while the Ogre Fort. For over 100 years this fort has been overlooking the city of Gwalior. One of the most invincible forts in India. This imposing citadel has changed many hands. It is built on a hill of sandstone and towers 100 meters from the plain. The outer wall of the fort is almost 2 miles in length and the width varies from 1 km to 200 meters. The walls of the fort gives way onto the steep slopes. This fort has been a witness to many battles in the turbulent times as well as festivals in the peacetime. Group of Monuments at Mahabharapuram Mahablapuram is a temple town situated along the shores of the Bay of Bengal about 60 kilometers from the South Indian city of Chennai. There are several famous temples at Mahablapuram, Shore Temple and Ratha Cave temples are the most famous amongst them. Hoa Mahal Jaipur's signature building, the Hoa Mahal, a multi-layered palace, was built by Sawai Pratap Singh, grandson of Sawai Jai Singh and son of Sawai Madhu Singh in 1799 AD and Mr. Lal Chandusta was the architect. 
famous for its beehive-like structure, the Hoama Hall is an interplay of red and pink sandstone, carefully and painstakingly outlined with white borders and motifs. This five-story building, which looks out over the main street of the old city, is a stunning example of Rajput artistry, with its pink semi-octagonal and delicately honeycombed sandstone windows. It was originally built to enable ladies of the royal household to watch the everyday life and processions of the city. The Hill Palace Museum, Thripunithura, Kerala The Hill Palace, the official residence of the Kochi royal family, is today the largest archaeological museum in Kerala. Built in 1865, the palace complex consists of 49 buildings in the traditional architectural style of Kerala sprawled over 52 acres of beautifully landscaped terraced land which houses a deer park and facilities for horse riding. Numerous species of flora including rare medicinal plants grow here. On display in the full-fledged Ethno-Archaeological Museum are oil paintings, murals, sculptures in stone and manuscripts, inscriptions, coins, belongings of the Kochi royal family and royal furniture including the Sinhusen. Delhi has thousands of historical monuments and places of religious importance. India Gate, an important monument of the city, is a memorial built in commemoration of more than 80,000 Indian soldiers who were killed during World War I. The monument is an imposing 42 meters high arch and was designed by the famous architect Edwin Lutyens. India Gate was earlier named All India War Memorial. The design of India Gate is almost similar to its French counterpart War Memorial, Jsilmer Fort. Jsilmer Fort was built in 1156 and is the second oldest in the state of Rajasthan. 250 feet tall and reinforced by an imposing crenellated sandstone wall 30 feet high, the fort has 99 bastion, 92 of which were built between 1633 and 1647. Wells within the fort still provide a regular source of water. The fort, built by Rewaljzil, which crowns the 80 meters high Trikita hill, has its outer wall of palaces, houses and temples of soft yellow sandstone. Jama Masjid Jama Masjid, the Mosque of Friday, Delhi is the country's largest and perhaps its most magnificent mosque. It stands across the road from Red Fort. The Great Mosque of Old Delhi is the final architectural extravagance of the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan with a courtyard capable of holding 25,000 devotees. The mosque measures 65 meters by 35 meters, and its court forms a square of 100 meters. Built in 1656, it is an eloquent reminder of the Mughal religious fervor. Jantra Mantra, Delhi At first sight, the Jantra Mantra appears like a gallery of modern art. It is, however, an observatory. So why Jia Singh II of Jaipur, 1699-1743, a keen astronomer and a noble in the Mughal court, was dissatisfied by the errors of brass and metal astronomical instruments. Under patronage from the emperor, he set on himself the task of correcting the existing astronomical tables and updating the almanac with more reliable instruments. Delhi's Jantra Mantra is the first of the five observatories that he built with large masonry instruments. Kamaka Temple The Kamaka Temple, which is situated high aloft a hill called Nilachil Parvat or Kamagiri in the city of Guwahati is one of its several religious landmarks, which speaks volumes about the rich historical treasure over which the state of Assam is seated. This sacred temple in the heart of the capital city of Assam holds more than it meets the eye of the onlooker. The Kamakya temple had been built in reverence to Goddess Kamakya or Sati, who was one of the numerous incarnations of Goddess Draga or Goddess Shakti. Kashi Vishwanath Temple, Vranasi Vranasi, also known as Benaras and Kashi, is a major city in the north Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. Situated on the banks of the holy river Ganga, the city has great religious significance for the Hindus. Vranasi is home to Kashi Vishwanath Temple which is dedicated to Lord Shiva. It enshrines one of the twelve Jyotirlingams of Shiva. It is said that this temple was rebuilt several times. The latest structure standing here dates back to the 18th century. Fumyun's Tomb Fumyun's Tomb in the capital Delhi is a fine specimen of the great Mughal architecture. Built in 1570, 
The tomb is of particular cultural significance as it was the first garden tomb on the Indian subcontinent. Its unique beauty is said to have inspired several major architectural innovations, culminating in the construction of the unparalleled Taj Mahal. In many ways, this magnificent red and white sandstone building is as spectacular as the famous monument to love in Agra. The Mysore Palace Mysore is one of the major cities in the South Indian state of Karnataka. Till independence it was the capital city of Wodyars, the erstwhile Maharajas of Mysore. At a distance of 140 kilometers from Bangalore, Mysore has always enchanted tourists and visitors with its magnificent palaces, beautiful gardens and rich cultural heritage. The city is famous for its silk and is also a thriving sandalwood and incense center. Today, Mysore has become a major tourist destination because of its convenient size and good climate, moreover the city has chosen to retain and promote its heritage rather than replace it. Meenakshi Temple, Madurai The ancient city of Madurai, more than 2,500 years old, was built by the Pandian king, Kulashikar, in the 6th century BC but the reign of the Nayaks marks the golden period of Madurai when art, architecture and learning flourished expansively. The most beautiful buildings in the city including its most famous landmark, the Meenakshi Temple, were built during the Nayak rule. Located in the heart of the city of Madurai, the Meenakshi Sundarishwarar Temple is dedicated to Goddess Meenakshi, the consort of Lord Shiva. Nalanda Nalanda, founded in the 5th century AD, is famous as the ancient seat of learning. The ruins of the world's most ancient university lies here which is 62 km from Bodh Gaya and 90 km south of Putna. Though the Buddha visited Nalanda several times during his lifetime, this famous center of Buddhist learning shot to fame much later, during 5th-12th centuries. Hunt Sang stayed here in the 7th century ad and left detailed description of the excellence of education system and purity of monastic life practiced here. He also gave a vivid account of both the ambience and architecture of this unique university of ancient times. In this first residential international university of the world, 2,000 teachers and 10,000 monks students from all over the Buddhist world lived and studied here. The Gupta kings patronized these monasteries, built in old Kushan architectural style, in a row of cells around a courtyard. Qtub Minor Qtub Minor in red and buff sandstone is the highest tower in India. Built in the 13th century, the magnificent tower stands in the capital, Delhi. It has a diameter of 14.32 meters at the base and about 2.75 meters on the top with a height of 72.5 meters. It is an architectural marvel of ancient India. The complex has a number of other important monuments such as the gateway built in 1310, the Alai Darwaza, Quat al Islam Mosque, the tombs of Al Tamish Alabama Uddin Khalji and Imam Zaman, Rashtrapati Bhavan. Rashtrapati Bhavan, the official residence of the President of India, is an imposing edifice located at the west end of the Rajpath in New Delhi with the India Gate at the opposite end. Designed by Edwin Lanzer Lutyens, this palatial building was the erstwhile residence of the British Viceroy. Few official residential premises of the state heads in the world will match the Rashtrapati Bhavan in terms of its size, vastness and its magnificence. The decision to build a residence in New Delhi for the British Viceroy was taken after it was decided that the capital of India would be shifted from Calcutta, Kolkata, to Delhi. Red Fort, Delhi Delhi's famous Red Fort is known by that name because of the red stone with which it is built and it is one of the most magnificent palaces in the world. India's history is also closely linked with this fort. It was from here that the British deposed the last Mughal ruler, Badr Shah Zafar, marking the end of the three-century-long Mughal rule. It was also from its ramparts that the first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, announced to the nation that India was free from colonial rule. The Mughal Emperor, Shah Jahan, after ruling from Agra for eleven years, decided to shift to Delhi and laid the foundation stone of the Red Fort in 1618. Rock Shelters of Bambitka The Rock Shelters of Bambitka, a recognized World Heritage Site by UNESCO, are in the foothills of the Vindian Mountains on the southern edge of the central Indian plateau in the state of Madhya Pradesh. 
Bambika is also known as Bama's Lounge. Bhuma was the second of the five Pandava princes in the Hindu epic Mahabharata. Within massive sandstone outcrops, above comparatively dense forest, are five clusters of natural rock shelters, displaying paintings that appear to date from the Mesolithic period to the historical period. Say Cathedral One of the most ancient and celebrated religious buildings of Goa, this magnificent 16th century monument, constructed by the Roman Catholics under the Portuguese rule, is the largest church in Asia. The cathedral is dedicated to St. Catherine of Alexandria on whose feast day in 1510 Alfonso Albuquerque defeated the Muslim army and took possession of the city of Goa. Hence it is also known as St. Catherine's Cathedral and is bigger than any of the churches in Portugal itself. Shish Mahal The Shish Mahal or the Palace of Mirrors in Patiala, Punjab was built by Maharajna Inder Singh, 1845-1862, behind the main Modi Ba Palace. The palace was built in a forest with terraces, gardens, fountains and an artificial lake. The lake has two watchtowers in the north and the south, and is connected to the Banis Gar, a repository for stuffed animals. The Shish Mahal, which was a residential palace, has a suspension bridge that is a copy of the Lakshman Jula at Rishikesh. Sikandra Fort Sikandra, located only 13 kilometers from the Agra Fort is the last resting place of the Mughal Emperor Akbar. Akbar son Jahan Jerk completed the construction of this pyramidal tomb in 1613. Sun Temple, Konark Konark Sun Temple, located in the eastern state of Odisha near the sacred city of Puri is dedicated to the sun god or Surya. It is a monumental representation of the sun god Surya's chariot, its 24 wheels are decorated with symbolic designs and it is led by a team of six horses. It is a masterpiece of Odisha's medieval architecture and one of India's most famous Braham sanctuaries. The Konark temple is widely known not only for its architectural grandeur but also for the intricacy and profusion of sculptural work. The temple declared a world heritage by UNESCO was built in AD 1250, during the reign of the Eastern Gunga King Narasimhadeva I. Taj Mahal Sheer poetry in marble. Majesty and magnificence, unrivaled, the Taj Mahal is the only one of its kind across the world. The monumental labor of love of a great ruler for his beloved queen. The ultimate realization of Emperor Shah Jahan's dream. One of the wonders of the world. From 1631 AD, it took 22 years in its making. An estimated 20,000 people worked to complete the enchanting mausoleum, on the banks of the Yamuna. For a breathtaking beautiful view of the Taj Mahal, one has to see it by moonlight. The construction of this marble masterpiece is credited to the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan who erected this mausoleum in memory of his beloved wife, Arjaman Banil Begum, popularly known as Mumtaz Mahal who died in AH 1040, AD 1630. Aminat Khan Shirazi was the calligrapher of Taj Mahal, his name occurs at the end of an inscription on one of the gates of the Taj. Poet Gaya Sudden had designed the verses on the tombstone, while Ismail Khan Afridi of Turkey was the dome maker. Muhammad Hanif was the superintendent of masons. The designer of Taj Mahal was Ashtad Ahmad Lahori. Victoria Memorial Victoria Memorial is one of the famous and beautiful monuments of Kolkata. It was built between 1906 and 1921 to commemorate Queen Victoria's 25-year reign in India. After the Sepoy Mutiny of 1857, the British government gathered the reins of control of the country directly, and in 1876 the British Parliament made Victoria the Empress of India. Her reign ended with her death in 1901. 